tenuously there. Where at last? War. Soon. Ten days shipping and handling. And the battle is joined. Mike seems a lot about millions. Seems especially that is already boosted on the meter. Perhaps more so. Audio balance remains my truest nemesis. Madrid or just like port nearest Madrid. So if we show up at say Valencia, then the move would probably be to first collapse that pocket, cash in however many divisions are there, and then go rush to save Madrid. But there's a lot of value here. A lot of important war material and industry and folks. in time for an actual military car. We figure out soldier foot in a car. Alright, so we have Robin Bullets here. So step one, take out these guys. And then step two will be to go try to save Madrid. Casualties still slightly favoring the Republic. The overall manpower total in the field looks a bit in their favor. The industry side of things is starting to swing. Let's see, did you fix that reserve problem? No, you just don't have a reserve. You just don't want to win, do you? something. And now, let's see. What is best direction to approach defense of Madrid from? Probably to set up over here and just make our way west between the rivers. Because then if we do manage to break out, we have a chance to kind of 
wrap around some of these boats. Touch over, we need to do that and then do that. Chaining attacks is weird. As far as what the player will acknowledge as do this and then do this. Versus just seeing them as two parallel orders. Now that we're here, we can do the most important thing of all. Gather data. Thus far, we were able to trade favorably against starving, surrounded Italians. Truly, we are invincible. second thoughts about this farther part of the moon. Just split that off. Just focus on maybe just relieving Madrid. numbers even our most raw and inexperienced mountaineers are still pretty all right they have in fact trained for this
It's looking like we're not quite well off enough to try counterattacks. At least not into major concentrations of those in force here. We can defend quite handily though. Republic, you're doing fine. You just really gotta pull some manpower out of somewhere. Just find bodies. I suppose the Nationalists are also out of reserve bodies. So maybe we're on even footing here. if our opponents can't decide who is commanding this attack. Our greatest advantage of all, reserves. We do have spares somewhere. Which, by the way, I'm just volunteers, highest priority. We have to date lost only 80 people. And so far we're doing alright. Need to make them bleed a little. If neither of them have reserves, it'll just come down to whoever manages to digest the opposing army faster. Which, so far, the trades have been consistently just slightly in favor of the Republic. They are up 10,000 bodies. And okay, that number is not completely accurate. It's probably not counting battles that are still in progress up there. Or maybe how much of that is losses to Spaniards that were standing near us. That is how many Africans have actually been defeated versus total numbers of other participants.
By the way, the ratios are good. Madrid and trade favorably. Up to five years. That's how the last Great War went. We got this. We have plans. We have moves. We're sending home valuable data. Back home, just barely, just tenuously, start to build a handful of tank. I have to give motorization a little priority than uh, getting the Air Force operational. Keeping up the effort to facilitate the eventual peaceful transition of power.
how about I just feed you the orb directly? How do you feel about that? As additional arms factories pop online. The perils of improvised vacation audio setups. Carrying on on schedule. As it happens. Deep. There we go. Rediscovering the appropriate audio setting for I should now be pretty firmly loud. The bar suggests a fair amount of loudness. Many layers of audio being reconfigured on the fly. Necessities of vacation build. But yeah, this group is basically ready to launch some kind of counter offensive. Let's do it. Bring some noise. Yeah, we're also managing to destroy a lot of valuable war material. Even if we don't run our opponent out of bodies. They should be having even worse equipment. That's a good sign. Look at that sign. Look at that good omen there. Be having even worse equipment shortages than we are. While our industry is tiny, it is safely a world away from the battlefield. Whereas theirs is stuck right here in the thick of things, getting shot up. Anytime territory changes hands on the border, that's more potential damage to their holdings.
No, oh, 30% off mechanical computers, sure. Our units in the field have a full set of shovels. I could even use our available data to send them binoculars. A new age of warfare. The Republicans have managed to hold the line everywhere where they're stuck standing. We might be at a tipping point. See how well the damage ratios hold up when I'm on the attack. If my main mountaineering teams are actually good enough to just start trading hits with the enemy on all fronts, then I can lead some offensives, retake some territories. They'll do it carefully since I don't have enough raw numbers to really just take a whole front for myself. All I have are shock troops. I rely on the Republic to agree on where they'd like to follow up. Nominally, the Soviets are also here. Where is their contribution? There's the, there's the Russians. The one infantry that's over there in Madrid. Anything else? Yeah. A tank unit that is operating out east, alright. Some Russian light armor. Yeah, we might have a balance that is starting to slide in our favor. A 20,000 point gap in the overall kill board? And there are several gaps in the line. Lack the numbers to keep everything fully staffed. I'm going to make sacrifices in order to concentrate units. Around opportunities like this one over here. Let's trust the Russians to take care of Madrid. Dead. Attempt to do the move. Interface, interface, come on. There, that, that is the intended maneuver. Up over here and then swoop around and hopefully trap Further Italians and a healthy band of nationalists in a little kill zone. It's a, this different line I've drawn here that is a that is an addition from Together for the Victory. The spearhead attack. It's like a regular attack, but more focused. Units on a spearhead attack will follow just very tightly along the line you draw for them. 
regular attack is kind of for just a general full court press across your entire fighting line. Spearhead will just be like, no, seriously, I just want to go just here. Just right here, don't spread out, keep together, move forward. Prepare and execute your moves. Those guys, I'm just gonna have to stay under fire for a bit. So we're not able to freely wiggle around. Every time they apply pressure, it goes much worse for them than for us. Whenever we are on the defense, the ratios are out real good. Look at 300 defense we have. On mountains versus the tiny amounts of breakthrough. Advancing into our mountain men is a suicide move. The choice to go full mountaineering division started out of recognition of yeah that's what the spanish civil war is Spain's geography is just very broadly it's a series of parallel mountain ranges with rivers between them it's just a bunch of river valleys cut through a slab of rock in spain you fight in the mountains or you do not fight at all Everything is a hill. And so mountaineers are great here. And then as a further benefit, back at home, the coast that we're going to be defending against attack, that's all mountain. Mountains here, mountains up here, these mountains over here. There's all kinds of hills to work with. I expect they'll continue to pay dividends over the course of further wars. Rivers give us a bit of trouble. can work with that. Also, once we get down the proper leg of our doctrine, the night fighting bonuses are going to do a lot for our performance. Having that whole other half of the day in which to murder with reasonable efficiency. Be great.
attacking this river, not so good. Defending across this river, excellent value. Oh, a 30,000 gap in the kill counts. The largest estimates of the Nationalist Army do not match the smallest estimates of the Republican Army. That's what this time was all about. Just an age of the continuation of slow, grinding, inevitable infantry warfare. Nothing was changed by any technology. More of the same. Famous, iconic, business-as-usual Krieg. Someone has a submachine gun in here. Ah, it's a vehicle. There are some Italian tanks. As a nice visual detail, if you start moving up to the more advanced equipment, divisions using it will change up their gear accordingly. For now, we're just using Type 1 infantry equipment, so all these fellows just have bolt-action rifles and so forth. But if we eventually research the better stuff, they will have, like, submachine guns and so forth. not have a response to this armor that the Italians have brought. We are lacking an anti-tank element in our main infantry unit. That was... Yeah, some discount has started to accumulate on the other quick firing guns. Adding support artillery is a reasonably economical way to improve performance there. Having own broken armor is only doing so much for this tank unit. Still doesn't have that much raw firepower. Have we managed to take out any of those tanks on the big equipment chart? Not yet. Or at least not yet in any battles that have been recorded for these stats. may suffice to claim slow, grueling, terrible victory. We managed to fight some Germans and suffer appreciable losses for it. Let's see what was in there. ZH-21, is that a vehicle or a cannon? I wonder if we encountered any 
Any German armor or just a well equipped German infantry division? Is Bruno a gun? Also importantly, uh, General Brink gradually learning things. The Desert Fox, and that's uh, not a huge amount of outright desert terrain here. Yeah, there's this block over here, but then east it's mostly green, mostly hilly. Kind of the one good stretch of sand. What he chose to focus on. Alright, there we go. We've managed to take out some vehicles. L3s. Yeah, at 626s. to check in here what Bruno is, maybe? Is it on the list yet? Could be. Shorter form of the name. Bruno a nickname for something? Fresh Mountaineers are waiting on cannon. For the numbers for our current, uh... Yeah, we're allowed to send four. Right now. The result of modifiers. Yeah, it's the case that three of those are just a straight number from the focus, and we have one that we would get by otherwise normal math. What if I just had a bunch of new divisions? Beep. And an additional follower. Leap. Bill just four? Still just four, Fella. The line has pretty comfortably refused to budge. Might be trying to get something brewing there. For the most part, things are looking a bit rooted in place. Pretty fine place to be. If the aggressor has stalled, and the aggressor is the other guy, time is on your side. Like the now 40,000 gap in casualties. Oh, painful, bloody victory.
Spanish Civil War will end by forfeit when every nationalist willing to carry a weapon is dead. One day, no one from the other side will show up to fight. That'll be the end of it. If some other members of the Empire are taking the infiltration path as well... That discount could get larger. Reaching the end of 38 as well, so I want to keep an eye out for when to pounce on the new industry tech. Now give me that anti-aircraft gun. Spirit is admirable in wanting to help out your neighbors, but I think at this point we can firmly conclude that no one will ever win a war by attacking. Defensive play is in fact perfect and invincible. Have we managed to accumulate enough war industry to be building planes back home? Just a few. Just enough. We get a whole fighter a week. Sometime next year, we'll have fuel to put in it. the Republic showing some initiative. Good on him. Just, there's no one left there. There's just uniforms and flags. Higher defensive lines made of scarecrows. Just go for it. Latest news from the front. War still hell.
the hell of vast reserves of combat data. Managed to push a little harder in Granada, but at great expense. One Republican division who is cut off and suffering. Everywhere else, things are pretty stable. The Republicans have a line that they are holding. Uh, these bars, this is surrender progress. Measure of how much of the country is occupied versus how high their political unity is. If this bar gets depleted, then that nation will surrender. Nominally, nationalists have made a little bit of progress in terms of ground occupied. They've done so in exchange for many men, many more men than have been spent resisting them. Oh, speaking of, I'm out of extra men. I need to pass more laws. Only to go up to extensive. As far as regular draft laws go. And I've still not yet finished opening up our recruitment laws over here. Go after that. already heavily tied up in this, I'd consider knocking out Zaragoza. Taking the city itself might be enough to flip control of all that industry. What in particular are we trying to claim here beyond just merging through the wilderness? I mean, I could go for Kobota. Koba. Try to make a run for Seville. That would also involve going into one of the few flat parts of the country. It's suboptimal. Maybe. Try to rescue this guy. Retake Granada. Like a worthy objective. We capture those Italian tanks in the process. Yeah, that's a scheme. That's the new plan.
best of luck, friends. We'll be right down the way if you need us. Regular inventory you should How would that end up on a side? With the way things have been going on all the other fronts, at this point I don't... On review, I don't think we need to worry about babysitting the Republic. Anywhere they start losing ground, they will lose slowly. Gracefully. Kept this up for some time. Their lead decreased a bit. Oh wait, they did a draft of anyone. They have bodies and their opponents don't. Well, that just secures it. Do draft. Republican Spain has been doing the uh, democracy leaning focuses over there. That's fine. I'm not too worried about their ideological alignment long term. This is all for data. Precious, irreplaceable combat data. No, the object of the of the campaign is to not attack the guys in the pocket because we don't want to scare them out of the pocket. Create the pocket by going around them. We fight the guys on the side. Even draw the Giga plan if you're not going to fire it. Follow it. And ten years practicing the maneuvers. All our carefully calibrated charts for nothing. Pronounce fifty breakthrough. Good numbers. Right there, carry on through there. Circle and destroy. Alien tanks. get held up a while as they try to fight back.
Whatever this is, I don't like it. Don't do that. Focus. First hold the ground, then launch the follow-up attack. I don't think they're gonna make it. Yeah. Attrition from lack of supply ramps up over time. You know, most of the, the shift back in the scoreboard is probably just those fellows over there starving. They've managed to spend all the bodies they drafted, but what matters is they drafted them. They have them. They're out here now. They helped. They joined the number. But the opposing number continues to dwindle. Through that tank, we might just barely do a rescue. Germans here now. They will pose a problem. Quite capable. Other hand, opportunity to take the port, which would also rescue this division. Extend the line and maybe give us a chance to take uh, Laga over there. Would then flip control of Granada back to the Republic, probably. Fortunately, the Italians keep trying to drive their tanks up mountains, and it's not working for them.
from an infantry division. Got some serious numbers behind it. Very well equipped. Not guarding the path to the One Spaniard in the way. As I hold the harbor itself, I'm not at risk of getting cut off from supplies. Perhaps this instead will be our chance for daring maneuvers. Oh, man. Hello. Craft law. Craft a little when you can draft a lot. any boat yards yet, waiting for the refinery to come online first. Then we start just first basic shipyards. thousand gap. About it here, yeah, it's similar division counts. All of theirs are at far worse standing. Saying something when you can already look at our uh, friends in the various Republic divisions along the line and see how terribly under-equipped they are. Republican army is already fielding just kind of a skeletal force. The nationalists have gone beyond skeleton. They have scraped through the barrel. Oh, hey, monster. Goodbye, monster. these tiny numbers of planes. 
Am I allowed to send them into the war? No. That's a real shame. If I wanted them used, I'd have to lend them to the Republic. There's no way I'm doing that. My good plans. My only plans. I got four Whitleys. Very slowly accumulate a humble air force. Still doing pretty well on trading for equipment. Get worse the more often we have to fight the other volunteers. They have located their prey, they've caught our scent. Only the Russians would launch an attack. That fully equipped light armor division over there that's gonna be like some BT-7s or something. You could do all kinds of damage. Just go. Just drive. Look. Planes. In Spain. Tank them. Historically accurate Russian volunteers who are spending more time enforcing ideological purity than attempting to win the war. They're making sure to take the fight to the real enemies, the syndicalists, and the anarchists, and the libertarians. And the communists, but they spell it with a U. And the socialists, the unionists, the social democrats. The social communists, the commu socialists, people's front, the popular front, the front of the people, all of them traitors. That's about the characterization of the front right now. There are the volunteers who still have equipment and bodies to fight with and will put up appreciable resistance, and the locals who are the scarred, scattered remnants of a once proud people. The Italian and German portions of the line you know, look like proper army camps with 
food and weapons and order. Whereas every part of the battlefield that is primarily under local control has descended into full Mad Max hellscape. USSR, still Joe. So a lot of this line probably just being held up by all of the Spanish regiments being mutually exhausted. If anyone throws a punch, if anyone lights a fuse, it'll all start to tip over. Just need someone to dare. Maybe not here, because this is where, yeah, the, where the Germans are properly dug in. Well, no, there we go. Yeah, by daylight, 225 soft attack. They are reasonably equipped, although maybe on their own they won't be so bad. Bow detained to repel the Italian tanks. Early 39, all right. I'll hold out for discounts. Get in on this computing machine. And do math with gears. somehow wheels can be numbers. Also 500 defense. Okay, that seals it. I will back off from that raid. It's able to scare off the Italians, but that's not too proud an accomplishment. Goal remains to try to sneak our way out to that harbor. Doing so, maybe reassert control for the Republic on this front. And if not, just continue to deplete nationalist manpower. thing with the front in the state that it's in, anything we do to lengthen the battle line further draws out the problem. A little handful of concentrated firepower here. It might not be a match for the Germans in a head-to-head -head confrontation, but that's fine if I instead point it at the wilderness. If there's no one out here in reserve, which I'm pretty sure there isn't, we could just walk to Seville. Who's going to stop us?
he's up on a couple of graphical settings in order to hopefully appease some of the ongoing encoder hiccups that OBS says are recurring. I just take all the cities. Your move, Spain. Yes, taking the harbor was enough to restore Republican control of this province. That's more material back to them, more industry flipped back to them, and more of the tiny scraps of available manpower recruitment. Nationalist army continues to dwindle. Alright, there. This far behind the line, we found another Spaniard. There are a couple of them hiding here, deep in Andalusia. Yeah, this is our breakout moment here. We're gonna have ourselves a grand old encirclement. Because they've ran out of bodies to cover the line. Let's say hello to our anti aircraft gun. Soon to be joined by our anti tank gun, and together they will form a healthy support line. have the boys cycle over to there, make ourselves a big ol' roughly granada-shaped pocket. that defending the point we're gonna close on, just a Spaniard. It would not surprise me if they had added more unit models. The kind of thing they just gradually populate over time. They're trying to slow me down. have only so many men to work with. This is where we need to start drawing our line. Let's just have you chill out there. And some spare Republican soldiers are filtering in. They have bodies to fill the line. How about you, Nationalists? Where is your reserve? At this point I may as well just delete the attack plan line there. I'm just micromanaging this out myself.
evacuated some of the people who were in here. Not all of them. Way deep in here, the, uh, the other two volunteers we were squaring off against earlier, they're stuck in. They're not heeding the warnings. They're about to take a healthy dose of hubris. Over here, flipped control of Andalusia. Nice. Time to close the trap. Five or six, six divisions caught in our pocket. Some small opportunity for relief there. I think we're fine. Being so low on bodies has the Republican, or has the Nationalist line units very sheepish. these folks in here, they are cut off from their supply lines. Organize, and then they will starve. Meanwhile, the Republican army has gotten the memo and rushed in to hold ground. Good stuff. Even the Russians are contributing. They're actually moving their units to join these attacks. Tanks remain asleep at the switch. Way off in, the in terms of current military activity, just the quiet front, the false war in Catalonia.
Oh, you're trying to escape. Good luck with that. Oh, you look like you're trying to fight, but you seem to lack bullets, or food, or shoes. And now even the Republic is willing to collapse on them. There we go, that's the move. There's your big old tipping point. Much of this number is about to vanish, also nice. That strategy number. Her face. How'd I do this? on one of these where we sneak around, although also Volunteer Panzer Division. That may put up a fight. Or may get trapped and overrun. Falls victim to a lack of a good fighting line to support it. Please think of the maps. It looks like we found the rest of the German volunteers. They're just all over here now. Let's do Every number's going our way.
That's a battle that could take a while with our lack of a good anti-tank move. That's just a bad idea. Our best anti-tank weapon right now is patience. Be cautious so as to not ourselves succumb to minute else. You stay right there. I'm getting rid of this line. With small units like this, the line just causes problems. Line keeps giving them ideas. No more lines. off and regroup over quick march to the Portuguese border we can trap that German division one who happens to be with them no harbor along this part of the coast They'll be cut off. Eleven more days till we open the oil refinery. We'll have aircraft forever. one of you off of that attack to
work of keeping the pen our bag. Put a stop to that. We have already learned the tank's Achilles heel. Hey, what's up? You're trapped now. How you doing, Eric? You're going to die in this hole. Well, not really, because generals are never at risk in combat. It's a nice thought. We are starting to want for that steel. Move to restrict exports in another couple of drafts. Finish cleaning up the old pocket there. What does that do to the board? It apparently indicates that the Republicans are now even more... Deplete... Mm -hmm. Maybe they took a unity hit somewhere? Yes, they seem to have low unity. What for? Come on, you're doing great. Look, you're almost out of foes. I mean, your industry is not great, but we'll fix that in a bit. Just you wait, gonna. Oh, Madrid fell. Hmm. That would be it. That would cause some degree of a flip. to take that back. If only someone would lead a counterattack into Zaragoza. That could do great things. It looks like Eric's running out of tanks.
Unfortunately, it looks like orchestrating that attack required them to completely abandon a bunch of other things. They still quite firmly suffering. The big numbers remain in our favor. Numbers of victory. Again. Expensive and turn it even into an even bigger pocket. Remedura while we're at it. Careful steps. Madrid itself is worth so many points that control of the state is just a matter of control of the city. Just a second, because we are now. The dicey moment of dealing with just a bit more land than our four units can comfortably span. There we go. Now that scoreboard looks more sensible. It's closer to the actual state of the thing. Stepping out there just overextend me a bit too much. These fellows would be able to break through me. Maybe if I rearrange these guys. We'll see if they can, if they can drive back that Spaniard. Very close to creating another excellent pocket.
You guys to Madrid, you guys up here. That's a line that reestablishes contact with those folks. bit more wiggling to shut this off. Crap, that looks like it's the rest of the- there's some stray Italians way off over here. Yeah, the rest of the front, that's the entire expeditionary force. Tank did move, it just hasn't moved into hostile territory yet. Come on, just. Zaragoza's open. It's very nice this time of year. Just drive in there, make yourself at home. It's a free town. is putting up a fight. Nearly got this. Here, retake Madrid. I just finished cleaning that. Yeah, war is looking good. All comes down to this.
from these battles. Perhaps many lessons learned. And then aim to put to use. Future acts of rebellion. One of you does not want to be here. Probably should have made it the other one. It's fine though. Having to fall back out of there does not compromise the integrity of the movie. Main force is still closing that up nicely. And also, it was a loss that was only occurring by virtue of them being very tired out from how heavily I've extended for this maneuver. Position remain a mere handful of Spaniards. Speaking of, the Republic intensified their draft. Now they have a million men. Pick up the phone and force people into military service. Look, they've only barely gotten started. Way behind, nationalists. Several formerly trapped divisions have managed to escape through the gap. Couple them. Slide in, fight a bit, and then retreat in the safe direction.
Speaking of good ratios. Oh, that's the other the other ongoing conflict, which is yeah, behaving about as expected. Interested in this other blood vortex. Smaller, closer to home war. The one where both sides have similar supplies of fancy gizmos. The one where we have just closed the pocket. And maybe 12 divisions in here. Whom they will die. Felix Zaragoza remains completely undefeated. Russia. Do it, Russia. Just go. This has gone on long enough that Germany is in the process of threatening Poland. So early on in this session I made two statements about the Spanish Civil War and both turned out to be false in ways that cancelled each other out, at least for purposes of this run. On the one hand, it took ages to actually get started, rather than firing off prematurely. And on the other, we made a hell of a difference showing up and joining this war. managed to actually gain control. Difficult, because it's a... Uh, you know, like, big victory point cities over here, so it is just a pure comparison of occupied terrain. Wait. May as well get these drawn up. Contingencies. Just being thorough, methodical. For the future.
Should it become necessary, we will be ready. Spare some change to just create a couple of additional generals. One there, and then if I create an armored unit, I'll give that its own general as well. When. I am building the tanks. I'll eventually organize them into a unit. just discard this. There's no salvaging infantry support armor division. You just get out. Add tanks to the motor division and that will be it. New armor maybe add an SPG if we develop those. Engineers there. That's a unit. I will have vehicles for them to ride in. Time we will have many things. That is now nicely enveloped. Even the tired, battered Republican divisions are strong enough to handle containment. In fact, they're confident enough to start collapsing the pocket now. Duff. Let us further do that move where I dare to commit actions that the AI is too sheepish to invest in. Let's get Bergen. Or, okay, finally that woke up the Russian tanks. Now they have finally gone to Zaragoza. Now that they don't want to get shown up. Let's Berg. Not that way, I don't... The point of war is to not fight. are the ones where you don't have to shoot anybody. Just win and brag about it. is tentatively secure. Now 
and the forces they're sending to respond to this move are just begging to get pocketed once again. It is July 1939, and the Germans have attacked Luxembourg. Brought in the French, who will presumably shortly bring in the Allies, who can no longer auto-call us to war since we're not a Dominion. I think we'll still be able to finish our commitment here. And wait, also, double-edged thing. So if the Germans join an actual war over here, their volunteers go home. It will just be the Italians. On their own. Italians like that one, who we just trapped. Taken Luxembourg, which was a pinata full of small arms. Going after the Netherlands. How does that war look right now? What are your big numbers? Going into it. German army. Also, Slovakia is here, but it's a bit small compared to the entire Allies. A fair amount of that is the UK. Then they have the industry numbers to put up. They saw go down this. Yeah, this could be Weltkrieg getting itself started. Very importantly for us, since off over here, if France falls, we would have the ability to diplomatically demand Madagascar. That's free land. Free land, free people. Free industry. A 
got this memo from the British. Something about the Benelux. We'll just wrap this up first. It's almost three. Review the board once again. Almost all of Spanish industry is now verbally flipped into Republican hands. Forty-three thousand gap on the kill board that's remained pretty steady. further dwindle once I get out here. Doing some more of these little pockets as we make our way along the beaches. Computing engine. You're just in time to tabulate the war data. He noticed. He figured it out. That shirt. Germany getting around the match, you know. to figure it out. Now you are doomed.
Right, the only state the Nationalists still control is now Extremadura. Which there are two active factories of some sort. Whereas the rest of Spanish industry is in the hands of the Republican faction. running out of space in which to go off on wild tangents to encircle the enemy. The end of an era. Hypothetically, we could attempt to harness the atom. It would be perilously expensive, though. More so than usual. Very much a luxury prestige move. Which, who knows, maybe in the late 40s, our great invincible union of all Africans facing down the enemy wherever they stand. The most complete act of decolonization is to pursue the Imperialist back to where they came from and remove them from that land as well. If you just take a broader perspective on history, you can see that they in fact conquered that too. The idea that anyone has a homeland is itself a capitalist construct. The one comes from anywhere. Live the dream and pull off a few final encirclements. Slice the opposing army into smaller and smaller bits.
little surprised that they haven't surrendered yet. It's gotta be right on the verge. Right there on the tip. They just need the slightest bit more land to fall. The one remaining factory they own isn't even on the Spanish main. It's like in... Maybe it's on the Canaries. They just have one stray island factory way out there. For the Belairs. August 18, 1938, the Spanish Civil War is finally over. Peace among Spaniards. Just in time for war among everyone else. As yet, that's a German army rapidly closing in on Paris. Means we have a Cape Commune rapidly closing in on the prime opportunity. Fire up the crusade. time for the soldiers to come home, redeploy, let our industry catch up with the backlog, the power vacuum created, all that fighting. And perhaps as soon as 1940 we will be launching the rest of our own offensives. bit more developing to do before we're able to finish assembling the little bare basics profile that I have World War Economy. Also, by the way, just to go ahead and visualize here, I spoke of the focus that gives us a bunch of free coastal forts. It's a lot of free forts. It's just everywhere. Two on every province and then another two in each harbor. And that's not even all the free forts we can get. There's more forts. started on this so I can make a timely demand of Madagascar. Finish rebuilding the Cape Corps when we need more men.
India. Nice for now. For now. Unfortunate. about encouraging some change and progress in them. Now we have to settle our own affairs. under fire. Five points of organization for everyone, forever. Thanks, Spain. And declaring the crusade is the point where we do have to exit our lovely tech agreement. Try to grab some good stuff on the way out. Team tools will be ready before then. So move that slot over to our next land doctrine. Returning veteran troops assigned to the front. I also so like the way this is going to work when it gets started is basically we will be halfway up both of these regions before Portugal has a chance to get any soldiers in to respond to us. be up here and then a handful of troops will actually manage to land and resist likewise around this port over here be quite feasible that so uh part of our our tricks that we have available for doing the anti-colonial wars is each time that we manage to flip one of these regions that has cores for an African nation in it, get an event that will pop up to give us the choice of either freeing the country as fully independent, freeing it as a puppet state, dependent on us, or just holding on to the territory directly for ourselves. The general plan I have there is to go with puppets that I can then diplomatically integrate later. 
expect this will ultimately pay out better in terms of material and bodies and so forth to continue the conflict. So what is likely to happen when we're conducting this is we might not face any resistance until after we've successfully fired the event to create the local government. And we'll get even further just free occupation as the rest of the unheld territory flips over. Efforts there will suffer from our complete lack of boat. No ability to contest control of the sea yet. We're working on it. Looks like the rest of Europe war is going to start unfolding on schedule. Paris is still fighting for so long after France. Or, see, France fighting for so long after Paris has fallen. At 2 a.m., these things will happen. Prime war hours. the dancing maneuver. This other Zwig, Schleswig, Holstein, 2am, many Zwig will be confused for each other. As the hours extend, all phonemes converge on each other with one sound. But it's one sound that contains all meanings, so it's a very effective sound. Powerful thought noise. I have a rifle surplus. That's fascinating and beautiful.
three shipyards in production at the moment and three more. Here off my focuses. Six boat yards there will form a pretty healthy core for just building a tiny coastal defense scrub navy. Those can get me close to a destroyer a month. Give me a healthy supply of convoy on the side. There was an independent Croatia, and it's gone now. How the times change. Establish our faction. We're chipping away colonial holdings. Mostly these much more sensible, non suicidal wars to start. And then the big one. The commitment to the end. Once I have any shipyard at all, I'll be able to define any number of boat building projects. Have them on the table, just to dream. There. Right is down. This is attached to also join to the comment brood. Brood. Go take it myself. Someday. Well, this is relatively low priority compared to getting our core military production online. So we still 
Air base is a nice quick investment. It's a fine thing to grab, just because then it also gives us opportunity to airstrike in that direction. Throttle back exports. Still keeping enough of the refinery output on hand. Plays down the line. A second refinery will give us enough fuel to get production going as well. That's an ore requirement. Alright, yeah, separately, that's Molotov Ribbentrop has to happen. Russia accepts Molotov Ribbentrop, then we get a chance carving up what's left of France. First requires, will that even happen when got its demands? There it is. Without further intel, we don't know if they're willing to go in on it. They haven't cut themselves. The mystery is. course to conduct our own operations. First, Angola. secondary objective to remembering to sleep the thing that must still be done even in the midst of war vacation oh, it is winter 39 pre-war build up and initial firing off has occurred There's a war, world-wise. And West are on fire. Next time, we light south. <laughs>